But there's the other side of creativity, of course, which is not plannable, because many of the things that happen in classrooms are not not foreseeable. They are, you know, uh, <laughs> unpredictable. And it's that unpredictable area which I think is the one that I'm most preoccupied with at the moment, it's what we're calling spontaneity. What do you do when something goes wrong? Or what, what do you do when something starts going right and you want it to go even more right? Um, that's a whole area that uh, Adrian Underhill and myself are looking at at the moment, hoping that we can in fact help stu uh, teachers, trainee teachers or in-service teachers to deal with those kinds of situations. Um, I can't say a great deal about how to prepare yourself for this, but if you don't try it, you won't know. John Fancelow, I think, is one of those who's, who has advocated um, doing the opposite, for example doing the opposite of what you normally do in the classroom. Now there's no guarantee that what comes out of that will be better, but unless you do it you won't find out. You'll never know what might have happened. So there's that whole area. Um, there's also, I believe, that teachers need to be more generally um, in a state of preparedness, which means you have to be physically fit, but you also need to be mentally fit. Um, and that means keeping yourself uh, in good trim and if you're interested in that I think it's in chapter 7 of my book with uh, Tamas Kish uh, which is called uh, Creativity in the Language Classroom from, in from Inspiration to Improvisation uh, sorry to imp Implementation um, in, ch in chapter 7 you find a whole lot of practical advice on what you can do to be a better teacher in this respect